In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 must-know Procreate features, including my best tricks, shortcuts, and gestures to speed up your workflow. You may be familiar with some of these, but I'm hoping by the end of this video, you'll have learned something new. Number one, the color fill tool. Did you know you can easily turn your illustrations into coloring pages in Procreate? So make sure you have your line work on a separate layer like this. Tap on that layer and toggle on reference. Create a new layer on top and drag and drop your colors into the shapes. So notice here where I have threshold. I'm gonna keep that quite low and I'll show you why. So if I zoom in and drag and drop my color this way, as I'm bringing up that threshold, it's gonna to start to pixelate that line work and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna bring that down to around nine or about 8% and then click off. I can pick a new color and drag and drop again like this and then click on continue filling. And now when I tap on all of those different areas, it's gonna fill those with that color. And this is just a great way for you to add color to your illustrations while still maintaining your line work. Number two, adding dreamy effects and textures. So ever wondered how to add that dreamy aesthetic to your illustrations? It's actually really easy in Procreate. So I have my illustration here without the effect and I'm gonna show you two ways to add texture as well as the filter. So firstly, I'm gonna go up to the adjustments here, go down to noise, and with my pencil, I'm just going to drag that across. I'll just show you where the, that texture comes in. The more I bring it across, the more texture that's gonna add. But I don't wanna to go too far because this is just going to detract from my illustration. So I want it to be a subtle texture. You can also play with the scale of the texture here as well, just in case it's not big enough. The second thing I'm gonna do is add a chromatic aberration filter. So I'll go to chromatic aberration, click on there, and again, I'm just gonna repeat that process by dragging my pencil. And you'll notice how my illustration starts to distort and add those colors. And this is just a great way for you to add that dreamy effect to your illustrations. Number three, saving different brush sizes. So to maintain consistent line work in your illustrations, it's really good to have the brush size saved so you can keep referring back to it. So as you can see here, I have two brush sizes saved one big and one slightly smaller. That way when I'm working on my illustrations and I'm toggling between the two sizes, I can keep that consistency. So the way to do this is just tap and then tap again. And this is gonna show you the percentage as well as this cross here to add a brush size preset. Now, whenever I'm using this brush, I can go back and toggle between the different sizes. And if I just tap again and click on the minus here, that's gonna remove it. Another quick tip when you're working with the size, if you're looking for a specific percentage, it can be really hard to get that accurate because this is going up really, really fast. To slow this down, just drag your pencil across, so a little bit out, and then drag it up and down. So notice how this percentage is going up and down a lot slower than when my brush was here. So this just gives you a lot more control if you're looking for a specific percentage. Number four, the opacity tool. So you can change the opacity a few different ways. The first way is through your layer. So if you go to the N here, click on the N, you can change the opacity of your illustration here. But you can also change it a different way. So if you tap with two fingers on your layer like this, it will bring up the opacity and drag your finger across the canvas to change the opacity that way. So those are two different ways to play with the opacity. And this leads me to number five, quick color select. So I normally trace over my sketches with a pure black. So to get that black, just head over to the color wheel 
And if you want to see this wheel in a bigger size, with two fingers, you can just expand that wheel to make it bigger. And now I want to get that pure black. So I could try and do it manually, but it's really hard for me to get that accurate. So with two taps on this wheel, this is automatically going to select the purest black. If I do it with white as well up here, double tap, this is then going to select the purest white and double tap on the color section. And this is going to select the most saturated color on this wheel. Number six, layer select. Don't you just hate it when you have a mark on your canvas, but have so many layers to choose from that it becomes impossible to know where that layer is. So to find your layers file, simply go to actions, preferences, and go down to gesture controls. Go to layer select and toggle on this second one here. So the square plus touch, done. Now with your finger, hold down on the square and drag your finger across your canvas like this. And this is just gonna automatically select the layers that you need. So you can go over to that rogue layer here. So that's layer 32. Go over to your layers and simply delete that annoying layer that you didn't want. Number seven, drag to duplicate a layer. So there are two ways to duplicate a layer. You can either swipe and select duplicate this way. And this is gonna duplicate the part of your illustration. Or if you need to duplicate multiple layers, just swipe on your layers like this to select. And then drag those layers onto your canvas like this. And this will automatically duplicate everything that is selected. Number eight, use the reference box. So I often find myself zooming in and out of my canvas a lot, especially if I'm working on smaller parts of my illustration that needs a lot of detail. So what I normally do is go up to the actions here, go to canvas and toggle on reference. And this is gonna bring up a reference box of my illustration. So when I'm working on certain areas of my illustration like this, I can start to see those changes in real time. And this just means that I'm not having to zoom in and out of my illustration and it's just gonna speed up your workflow. Number nine, brush finder. Ever work with a brush but forget where it was originally from? So head over to your recents, so you can find recents in your brush library here. And this is going to have all the brushes that you've been using. So if I don't know where a brush is, maybe I've been using the brush pen small and I just don't know where I've kept that, I can just swipe on the brush and tap find. And this is automatically going to go to the library where that brush was originally from. Number 10, switch between colours easily. If you're working with the same two colors, instead of holding your finger down like this to select those colors, you can actually do it here. So if you just hold your finger down on this circle, it's going to automatically switch to the color you were previously using. I didn't want to leave this video without sharing a bonus feature. So if you want to quickly preview illustrations in your gallery, with two fingers, just pinch out on one of your stacks. So for example, I could just with two fingers, select that stack. And then I can just swipe left and right to flick through all of those illustrations that are in that stack. And there you have it, 10 must know features in Procreate. If you wanna learn more about Procreate, check out some of my other videos here on YouTube. And if you made it this far, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Procreate tips and art content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.